Hi, boys and girls. This is Mayor Kevin, and tonight I'm going to read you a bedtime story called Bear Can't Sleep. I want to thank all of our teachers and librarians for all of their helps for putting these stories online. And I know that this is a very different time for a lot of us, and you probably miss your teachers and a lot of your friends at school. Uh, but I want you to know that they miss you too. And we're going to get through this sooner rather than later. And so tonight it's a good opportunity to get together, to read this story, and really spend some time together. The story I'm going to read is called Bear Can't Sleep. It is written by Karma Wilson with illustrations by Jane Chapman. And I'm reading it with the permission of the publisher, Simon & Schuster, who is allowing us to do these bedtime stories online. So let me put on my glasses so I can actually read this story, and we will begin. Ready? Bear can't sleep. In his home in the forest, while the cold wind blows, Bear snuggles in his quilt, from his nose to his toes. Can you see him in there? While the snowflakes fall and the drifts pile high, Bear tosses and he turns, Bear moans and he sighs. He stares at the wall. He's not tired at all. And the bear can't sleep. See him laying down? He's trying to sleep, but he can't. Pitter patter, tiptoe, mouse scurries in his lair to check on the fire for his good friend bear. Oh, bear, mouse squeaks, you're up too late. It's winter in the woods, and bears hibernate. Mouse frets, dear me, while he brews mint tea. And the bear can't sleep. You see, the mouse is trying to make some tea for his friend, the bear. Bear is counting sheep. One, two, three, four. When badger and hare tumble in through the door. Ho, mouse, says the hare. We were just out walking. Bear should be asleep. But we both heard him talking. Bear snuggles down deep in a sad, fury heap, but he still can't sleep. See them all? They're trying to help him now. Mouse turns down the lamp. Badger builds the fire up. Hare pours warm milk into Bear's tin cup. Then Gopher and Mole tunnel up to the lair. Mole frets as he fusses. It's bedtime for Bears. The cold wind blows while the firelight glows, but the bear can't sleep. Look at all of them. They're still trying to help him. Wren, owl, and raven flitter flutter inside to find bear awake with his eyes open wide. Wren hops to and fro. What else is there to try? A song to make him sleepy? So they sing a lullaby. All gathered in the lair, they hum along for Bear, but he still can't sleep. Look at him, they're singing to him a lullaby, but he still can't sleep. I'm awake, roars Bear, and that's all there is to it. I have tried to fall asleep, but I just can't do it. I'm bored, bored, bored. So I'll spin you all a tale. Once upon a time, in the strawberry veil, the friends huddle in as the story begins, since the bear can't sleep. See them all listening to the bear now? Bear tells a story he has never told before. When the sun peaks up on a bright new dawn, the friends can't sleep, but the bear snores on. He finally went to sleep. And that's the end of that story. So I want to thank you all for listening to this story tonight. I used to read stories a lot when my kids were little, just like you. So thank you for letting me read you all a story tonight and have a good night's sleep.